All right, welcome back. Tackling a couple questions back on the grind today. Um, so thoughts on leaving your legacy with art. Um, and this is interesting, definitely in light of recent events that's gone, gone on with, um, you know, Los Angeles losing Nipsey Hussle. And thoughts on legacy. So let's just talk about legacy first. Um, legacy can mean a lot of things. Uh, business is legacy. Your children are legacy. Your art's a legacy. Um, business, children, art, um, your relationships, who you've touched, who you've affected, on um, your whole life experience adds up into this thing called legacy. Now, the interesting thing about art is Art gives people an insight into how you were feeling, how you were thinking, and how you were moving on earth that um, a lot of the other things that I, I mentioned as a legacy can't really hold the same. Like your kids might remember you, but they might not remember the you that, that you were when your kids aren't around. Um, your friends and family can remember all your words and smart things you've told them, but it's only existing in their memories and, you know, memory is kind of faulty and uh, you could forget some of the, the, the key little details, you know, um, but pictures and tangible things, those pretty much can be interpreted, but it, your signature on it can't be misinterpreted because that's you. That's what you chose to do with your time here. And there's really something special about art, you know? To, you, to use Nipsey Hussle as an example um, in his legacy, his business, um, you know, the business could close now that they don't have a, a front man and a face to it. Uh, or, I mean, it, it could become more popular but uh, he was the entrepreneurial spirit behind it and whatever ideas he had about making it run who knows if they could still be sustained that's part of the thing about being a small business owner and not creating a turnkey operation um, is that something happens to you or you can't produce the results most of the time your business starts to slow up I know with my business too, you know, if, I, if I'm not out there booking shows and booking, um, you know, video gigs and clients, it's not, it's not happening, you know? Nobody's bringing it to me or nobody else is dedicated to make it run, but everybody would love, wants to work for somebody, you know? So um, it's really interesting, like, where the business is there and his kids and family are going to be affected by the business. But um, as his kids get older, you know, they're going to be more appreciative that their father has interviews, music videos, and a whole bunch of art that talks about what he was experiencing and, and seeing. And that at the end of the day, is uh, a really good thing for your legacy. Uh, I, to me, when what I'm doing here, that's that's my main thing. You know, is leaving my imprint in terms of my experience and thoughts uh, more so than uh, just trying to build a house or passing down a house or or anything like. All of these little projects are my children, children of my ideas, children of my thoughts that you know, I'm trying to leave out in the world. So it's really good to to have that kind of tangibility and only Earth, man, we, we provide that, you know, by, by creating art, by creating songs, we, we get these little snapshots in time, uh, a whole bunch of influences and experience, social commentary, you know, people that died in the 60s and 70s 
were able to relate to what was going on and the Vietnam War and, you know, what type of music people liked, what type of songs people were listening to back there, all that by just contributing. So everybody's voice is worthy and everybody's voice has a story. Uh, and, you know, I think people are just going to be really appreciative with everything you've done that puts your thought into it. Um, you know, if you pass and that's, that's your legacy. Uh, that aside from like going out and starting your country, uh, yeah, that's, that's about the, the next step up, but even still, um, influential influencing, you know, like thoughts, the people that came up with like the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. I mean, some people wouldn't say that that's art, but it is a form of creativity and like some type of respected literature that the whole world took change to. So, um, you know, legacy, keep creating. It doesn't matter about money or houses or any of the other materialistic things or <clears throat> even the people because, you know, people the people that you touch they're gonna they're, they'll pass away too you know but your your paintings may, now with the digital age you know your online persona it'll be there for as long as the on, online's there and that that could last more generations than than you were actually talking to um uh, so that's that's that for that question question number two i want to invest 3k in my first album well, I have 3K to invest in my first album. What do you think is the first place I should put that? Uh, okay, 3K, first album, sounds like a really demotivating learning experience um, because there's a business principle is you don't invest money in anything that you're not an expert in. Um, if you can't actually see the return and you have all the connections to make those returns, and you've done it before, and you know all the bumps to expect, then you don't invest your money. Does that mean that you don't produce a first album? No. I'm just saying that I don't care what you're going to do. I don't think that you should put 3K in your first adventure of anything if you, if you don't have it all figured out yet. Uh, especially albums. I mean, geez, even an album itself, um, nobody's buying them right now. Uh, and your best bet is to try to get a buzz to book book big shows. Um, and even that is a grind. You're going to have to write a lot of songs. You never know which one's going to go viral. You're going to have to do a lot of music videos. So instead of doing that 3K for an album, first I would say practice releasing stuff um, without putting any money into it. Um, so that you can learn the rhythm of releasing, learn the business a little bit more. Uh, when I first bought my camera, uh, I could have afforded about um, maybe a five, three, three, three to four thousand dollar camera setup, you know. But I had never had a camera before, so why am I going to spend all that? And I don't even know if I enjoy doing the camera stuff. You don't even know if you're going to enjoy doing an album rollout. Uh, so. What did I do? I went and I figured out which is the cheapest camera with the sensor that I want. That it has all the features that I can hack and do. And I learned how to get a prosumer level camera for a really, really cheap intro price. I think I paid 180 bucks and it came with two batteries. And that was enough to get me to, to learn filming, right? Whereas if I would have paid that 3000 it would have been a lot more pressure. I would have been a little bit in debt. I would have had to try to book gigs. And see, you put 3K in this album, you're not going to be selling this album or giving it away. You're going to be like, no, I need $10 a pop to make my money back. But you're going to see nobody's buying an album for $10. And people don't even have CD players. And people don't even like to buy stuff on iTunes as much as they did, you know? Uh, your best bet would be Spotify. Uh, but that's not going to pay you. You know, uh, so, and people don't have CD players. So if you do want to spend money on something, 
definitely marketing or some type of uh, big spectacle, like a, a good budgeted music video or uh, a release party that you can get some some big people around for and some some trendy DJs. I'd put that money into that uh, and something else to support it. But you don't have to do that on your first one. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, try to learn the whole thing with spending no money because during those learning periods, uh, it's you're going to learn the same lessons in the intro, whether you spend the 3K or not. So there's a lot of free lessons that you can learn just by moving forward and taking the next step by releasing it. Uh, so if you are going to do the 3K, look at those things I said to invest in instead of just the album, like just the studio, just the mixing, just the production of it. Try to do that cheap, but your marketing will, will probably have a better return on you because the album itself is just a byproduct of what you how your marketing is. Uh, and if you if you can get that good and you can tour and you can do a lot of shows, then you'll you'll make s some money back. It's not gonna be three k that quick unless you have a viral two million YouTube uh, views hit in a little bit. But um, yeah, it's. You know, definitely take that business principle. Don't invest heavily into something you're not an expert in yet. So become an expert in releasing albums. Become an expert in the music business and learn about contacting blogs and how to get on the independent radio and how to make things viral because, you know, you'll spend that 3K, but then a year later you're going to learn that, oh, you know what, all I got to do is put my music to memes and it, people share it and that's how I got all my fans. Well, there you go. And what did that cost you? Nothing. $2 because you downloaded an app on iTunes that lets you do that. And that was a better return than your what you thought you wanted to spend your money on initially. So, yeah, that's my advice for that. That's all we got for today. Um, like and subscribe. Email any questions, 24creative at gmail. Uh, follow us on Patreon. We've got some exclusive content coming up. Uh, we've got a first draft of a short story that I'm releasing that will be on the Patreon starting tomorrow uh, for you guys to check out. So if you want to read it and see and then see how that changes from the release, that's why I'm doing these things so that we're all kind of having some behind the scenes and what it's like to create. Uh, and all that. So fun times. Uh, so stay tuned.